Welcome back. Steve here, Soggy Bottom Farm. I picked up a junky old lawnmower the other day. A Western Auto Wizard from Western Auto. It's kind of old. Came with a tiller. I'd like to get it going. But it's in bad shape. Anyways, I put the power to the starter and it didn't move. It just... uh sat there just like this this is the starter off that lawnmower it's got a Kohler command 20 but the way these things work is you start the starter it spins this way the shaft the weight of this gear forces it to extend like this until it makes contact with the flywheel. It's riding on a helical gear inside of here. And I hope that focused for you. Then after the engine actually starts, because this gear is rotating this way, the engine forces it back home like that and it sets there not moving because this spring keeps it from coasting in and out touching the flywheel coming back touching coming back and this nut here on this starter holds everything together but this guy's just spinning there's not enough weight inside here on that helical shaft to throw this forward anymore because this piece in the back has busted off so you know it's sunday maybe you want to save a little money got a notice on the door about the length of your grass you got to mow it you're not going to buy one of these on a sunday you might not get the one you do have so let's tear this thing apart and uh see if we can't put it back together at least till we get a new starter so let me accumulate some tools formulate a game plan and you'll come right back hang in there okay i think i got it this that other starter had a nut on it but this one's got a little sir clip whatever you want to call it one of those little guys there my tool of choice for that is a pair of these nice ones see if i can do this while you're looking i'm going to get right underneath of there not tearing up the groove that it sets in and just peel it right off of there don't lose that thing some people call them jesus clips anyways take this off take your spring off this is supposed to be one piece take it off and then here is our helical gear right can you see that i hope you can and this thing here Is what's broken off this part right here that looks like it might be rubber let me eyeball it up and uh, I bet you that was just rolled over at one time let me give it some thought and I'll show you what I did you might have to do something similar or something different I mean worst case scenario solder it back together weld it We'll figure something out, but we're going to make this lawnmower, this starter, spin this lawnmower engine. Hang in there, I'll be back. Well, I've studied this thing, and I've come to the conclusion that there's nothing wrong with it. This is all rubber. This is like a uh, love-joy coupling of sorts. This thing is, should just generate enough friction to move this gear outward. It should at least move outward. So I've come to the conclusion that 
this is not spinning fast enough to create that movement right there. So I'm going to take the, the motor apart. It's got to be dragging and it just isn't spinning fast enough for that to work properly. You want to come along? Now, hold on. Let me get this cap off here. Then I'll bring you back. Okay, got them out of there. You got to be careful when you're doing this. There's springs on here. Brushes, springs. See them all? You know, the fun part is you got to figure out how to get all them back in that holder before you can put it back on there. I've done it before. You can check it out in my other video where I took a Briggs and Stratton starter and a uh, Kohler starter and I made a uh, replace the magnets. Somebody's been hammering on this guy. See this? The magnet is broken in there. That's why it's dragging. When you hammer on these things, that's all you do. You just break magnets. Let me give this thing some thought and uh, we might have to just let the homeowners association know and take our lumps. See what we can do. Hang in there. I knew when I took this thing out it looked familiar. And yesterday when I was figuring out how to charge multiple batteries, I was looking around for stuff, you know, and I ran across this plate over here. And I asked myself when I seen it, why did I make that plate? Let me get it, I'll show you. This is the plate right here. Like I said, you got to have a way to hold all of these brushes inside of these holders when you go to reassemble it. And this plate does just that. So if you're messing around with a Kohler starter and you need to get all these brushes back down in here so you can reassemble it, you need something like this plate right here. Then you can put it back on the shaft remove the plate and your brushes are contacting the commutator again but hey we got a big problem here i'm going to come back i have got to figure out how to do this because it's going to run today now well, we're back out here at the motor i'm evaluating a few things right now i'm trying to figure out if this original starter was in here how far away from that flywheel is it if this starter was assembled that's all i'm doing let you see what goes through the crazy old man's mind this is the other kohler starter that's how far away it is but you know it's still put together there's nuts there let's take a look at these two Now, seems to me, this being uh, 3 inches 80 thousandths, approximately, this one here is uh, 78. You know, they're the same, the diameter. Like I said, when I pulled this cap off, memories came back. I'd seen that before. And it was with one of these starters. I almost bet you money. We remove these screws. Well. We can spin this cap around. I got to see if I have some screws that will allow this to extend out. So I can attach it to the lawnmower. We'll move this part over to here, sticking out this way. We'll give it a shot. 
Hang on, I'm going to reconfigure this thing. Good news. I thought I was dead in the water. But those bolts are quarter 20. I got all thread. We ought to be able to just spin this cap around. Oh man, don't make me take you off of there. Oh, come on, be nice to me. Let's put him over here like this so we can get it on the outside of the mower. Uh-oh, is it keyed? It's keyed. Hold on a minute. We might have to change something here. Well, she come apart on me, but you see that? That's what triggered my mind. We'll just put this cap on the old, on this, uh, this starter right here. Man, I took it apart. It's awfully dusty in there. I'm going to take a few minutes and clean this stuff up. Then we'll put it together and we're going to mount it on that mower and start that engine. Well, we're at least going to crank it over. Hey, I wanted to give a thumbs up for my air compressor. I'm going to plug it in so you can hear it. And that way, if you're ever in the market for an air compressor, you can check in these California air tools. Listen to this. Do you hear it? It's quiet. If you ever need one, I promise you, you'll be glad you bought one of these. Okay, let's put it back together. Well, that guy was in a hurry. Is this the right one? Yep. This is the one off of that starter. Well, did I forget how to do it? If your starters are different, you know, uh, you got to remember there's some human being somewhere putting this thing together. If they can do it, you can do it. You just got to figure out how they did it. Come on, get in the hole. Bear with me, I'm almost done. Get in the hole. Where is the hole at? Right there. Come on, that key is right there. And there. Let me put some pieces of all thread in there. Take you out there after I mount it on the mower. And we'll see if this thing will actually engage the uh, flywheel. Looks a little bit short to me. But hey, if we can get away with it, we ain't paying that fine this week. Hang in. Okay, we're out here at the motor. The lawn mower. Let me show you the mower. It's an old junky mower. Let me put this down here. Western Auto. A Wizard. Kohler Magnum 20. Okay. Enough of that. I told him to go ahead and bring it because it came with that tiller. It's got a three-point hitch in it. I can do some tilling. But here's the situation with the starter. This cap came off the old starter. This came off of the working starter. You know, like a, a 301. Um, you know the Kohler engine single cylinder and then here is uh, the little doodad that was in question 
here's the amount of engagement we get now this isn't going to crank over but let me let me throw that thing out there for you all right you see that we got a good uh three sixteenths of an inch of tooth engagement right there but you see up in there that stator is plugged pretty darn good with uh foreign debris no oh, sorry about that it's up in there i gotta get that cleaned out i would have still cranked it like that the problem is up here in the front this pto clutch it does not allow me to rotate this engine unless i really pull on it there's something in this pto clutch that's not letting this thing go so i got to remove that i might go ahead and do that and as soon as uh i'm able to rotate this engine with this starter i'll be back i might go ahead and post what i've done so far this thing's starting to get lengthy anyways i'm gonna let you go for now steve here soggy bottom farm see you later thanks you know i brought out some crowbars and i thought for sure i was gonna be in for a world of hurt but on, that thing fell right off of there. Amazing after all this time. Anyways. Let me show you what's going on here. I overlooked one small but very, very important detail. I could just delete this whole thing and keep it to myself. But, you know, things happen. Let me, uh... Let me get some way of jumping out this solenoid. Hold on. Okay. Let's turn this dude on. Put him on boost here. I'm going to jump out this solenoid right here. You know what's wrong? I'm going to take it back off of there and show you. That's almost embarrassing. But I'm going to show you. That's the kind of guy I am. Hang on. Okay, we're back in the shop. This is the one that was on it. This was my attempt. Do you see what's wrong? This guy has nine teeth on this gear. This one has ten. Now I got to deal with a conflict of these teeth. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of paying that fine today or not. But I got other things I got to do today. So I'm going to call this one quits. Come on back. You'll see what happens with this starter. I'm going to keep taking this motor and getting it running again i know it's crazy but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do this steering gear is busted on it it's missing five teeth there's another component that's wedged and jammed up and i guess somebody just tried to turn the steering wheel and they snapped these teeth off i gotta fix this there's no way i can buy this i have to fix it so come on back. We're going to do all kinds of this stuff. All right. Thanks again. Steve out. You know, I finally had to tell myself, quit goofing around, Steve. Get the freaking lawnmower running. So I ripped the rubber off the other part, stacked a bunch of washers in there, closed my eyes, and welded them all together. Let's see what I did. Hang on. Yep, that's off. Let's turn this on boost here. Hang on, it ain't plugged in. Okay, here we go.
let the battery charge up a bit hang on okay charging the battery took the plugs out here we go now if I put them plugs back in this thing won't crank I guess our broken magnet ain't gonna work but hey we'll find out okay we got the uh, plugs back in it hey it's doing what it's supposed to do I think we can start this mower I gotta keep working on it I'm gonna uh, I am in fact gonna conclude this now I do have to find out what's going on with this guy I can't rotate the engine at all with that on there and I'm pretty darn sure. Let me turn this off. I'm pretty sure we got some problems in here. Wow. Oh, yeah. This thing is a mess. All right. Well, oh, wait a minute. I did fix the steering gear. Wow. Where's that thing at? Right there. I welded up those broken teeth. Took a grinder and kind of uh, shaped in some new teeth. And it ought to work pretty good. We'll find out. That steering gear was attached here. This one no longer pivots. It's frozen. This one is about wore out. We're going to repair that thing. But this is what's frozen up and won't rotate. And somebody attempted to turn this with the steering wheel and broke them teeth off. So we got to get this thing taken apart, rotating again. Get all of the uh, backlash out of the steering. We don't want to uh, rattle off our new teeth. They're going to be softer than the originals. Anyways, I got to keep playing around. Come on back if you want to see what's going on. Thanks again. Steve out.